This, guys, this is the greatest redstone monument known to man. And I'm about to mine it all. This is three complete stacks of redstone ore that I'm now fortuning, fortune threeing up. Uh, so that I can... Oh, crap. So that I can start the next big project on Twitchcraft. Now, you might be asking yourself, wasn't I building a PvP arena? Is that finished? Nope. And nope. Well, I guess yes and nope. I was building the PvP arena, and at the moment I've kind of stopped because I must admit the project's kind of boring me at the moment. I wish I'd never built it circular. The circles have just messed me up to to all hell. I think if I had built it better circular, it would have worked, but unfortunately it didn't, and I ended up with a with a really, 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 really bad arena that was a very unfun to build. It's almost finished now, though, and we may go take a look at that later. Anyways, what am I starting today? Well, come around August, I don't know when in August, We, we it's not, like, confirmed August, but we've kind of spoken around the idea that around that time we will be doing the Ender Dragon fight. And so I decided it would be nice if we had, if we all had a nice, quick-ish way, direct route, of getting to the Ender Portal. And it would also be very nice for people like me, well, who really want Ender Pearls, and hence we don't have to travel, like, from spawn, um, there we go, from spawn somewhere to go find it. So what I'm building today is a Ender Rail Link, or just a railway, basically. It's going to be a rail link going from town, which uh, it's going to be from Shop Town over there. I'm going to build a train station, and then I'm going to um, connect it. I've already d dug like a like a strip mine almost. I haven't lit it up though, hence why I've got three stacks of torches. Um, I kind of lit it up, but I didn't. So, yeah. A lot of it's dark. There are some torches, but very little. I didn't have many torches on me to begin with. I think I, I think I came out with about three, and I went in with about 30. Or something like that. Something along those lines. I'm not terribly sure. But, yeah, the... Uh, it, it's going to be interesting. I've already got some ideas for the design and things, and you, you can see I've got the, the gold here for the for the um, the rails. Um, the reason I'm mining redstone, I'm getting the redstone. By the way, I had I have stacks of the blocks already, and I have stacks of the ore. I think I still have more stacks after this uh, to mine through, so I'm not too concerned. I just wanted to get some redstone blocks from the ore than um, from the actual, like my block collection at the moment. I guess I want to say. So, look at all this dead grass. None fell in here, did they? No. Uh, for those of you wondering what this actually is, it's uh, for growing jungle trees. Grow jungle tree in the center, and then the when the saplings fall, the hoppers pick them up. For that to actually work, though, I found the hoppers need to be one away, so the hoppers need to be here, 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 and here. But I haven't used that in so long, I've just not never bothered fixing it. I, ne I needed jungle saplings, but I didn't need um, jungle wood, so I, I ended up with stacks of jungle wood and very little jungle saplings, so I kind of gave up that idea. Um, I turned a lot of it into sticks. There's some downstairs. We can turn a lot of this into blocks as well, but it looks. Good. Oh, I also, uh, when I was investigating Stronghold, I found the Stronghold before by strip mining on complete accident. The result's very, very, um, I want to almost say mystifying. It's quite interesting, actually, to see. Also, also, you should see my pick. This, this pick, I repaired before I went mining. Before I went to find the Stronghold and mine, and mine the hell out of it, uh, my pick was, uh, my pick was full. Yeah, get, get, get that engine, Noggin. 
I'm gonna I'm just gonna just do this. Boom boom. So much lapis. Never ever ever gonna need a lot of materials ever again. You know sticks. Sticks might be a good idea. I'm gonna take three stacks of sticks. For the iron, the uh, for the iron, the gold, and the the torches. If we find torches, we might not find torches. I have got coal on me to make more torches if I need torches. I I don't know. Right. So those of you who have seen my Twitter already will know that the I I posted on Twitter that the the biggest sorry the Twitchcraft's newest. Um, I think I said newest building, I can't exactly remember the wording. Uh, newest project, I think I said, is built on top of a ravine. And it is. And I also forgot my... If any of you have seen my building tips and tricks videos, I say to use gravel for the foundations. I use stone, because I that's the only thing I had on me at the time. And I kind of regret it at the moment. I'm trying to mine away the stone, but I still want to keep the dimensions of the train station. So, the idea I've got for the train station, if I just talk you through the design pretty quickly, is kind of just a basic, on the outside, it's going to be like a a red hood, so probably either brick or nether rack, nether, nether brick, and it'll start here and it'll curve over, and it'll just be like an overhang, and it'll have like a fence pillars coming down to as supports, and then... On the inside then you'll have like a platform and you'll have a staircase and then the staircase will go down, hit a landing and then go down again. And then you'll be at this then you'll be at another station um below one of the skeletons dropped a bow. Then you'll be at another station below the um like in below the ground in the in the ravine. Seeing as I'm here, I might as well show you the Colosseum as it stands at the moment. There's a bed up there. Don't just I, I just have a bed. So here's the seating at the moment. Not the best. Not the worst. Not the best. Um God, I'm lagging out. Am I actually What's my frame rate at? Forty six. Why is my frame rate so low? Um anyway, light level, I just wanna check. Light is fifteen. Oh. I didn't think these gave off light, but maybe they do. Huh. I'll have to check. I didn't think they did. But, you know. So what I've done for the Colosseum, I need to change this in the middle. It's a bit bulky. I'm just going to make that wider, basically, and keep it as it basically is. Uh, make this a bit smaller. Um, this is kind of like a King's Rock thing, where it's just a giant rock in the center. They can climb up and kind of claim dominance over the entire arena. Or they can ignore it entirely, just walk around, run around it, use it for cover, etc. There's also going to be like little rock outcroppings made from the coloured stone of the teams. So that's blue team, that's red team. And uh, blue team kind of has a diagonal line that way, and red team on the other side of the diagonal line. So that's just the... Uh... Do I have... I thought I may have had things in there. Okay then. I'm lagging, why am I... Well, my frames are actually really bad at the moment. 39. Huh. I wonder why that could be. I really don't know. I've never had a problem with OBS, so it's probably not OBS. Huh. My connection's not brilliant, but it's the same as it usually is. Okay, right. I wanted to do something, and I wanted to do it now. So what did I want to do? Iron. I need to go get my iron supplies. I'm, I'm gonna for now. I'm gonna use the iron for my ender chest, which is not much actually. I thought it was more than this. Oh man! So, oh, that actually got me a lot of iron, a lot of tracks. I kind of worked it out. I need about five hundred rail. So I'm going to do two stacks of golden and five stacks of iron. So I need five stacks of this stuff. Which again is why I have all the redstone. Because it's just easier just to do this. Right. 
that's 60. So I'm going to use all my gold for this, this rail line. And that'll have to be enough for now. There's, there's more gold down there, but I don't know. I'm kind of sentimental about my gold. I like it, okay? I like gold. It's, it's a nice commodity, if I can say that. I, I like gold because uh, I've really got into the whole golden apple, notch apple thing. And of course, you can now get villages from them as well. But gold's not exactly a rare thing at the moment. Right, I'll have to show you this ravine now. If you just give me a moment, I'll just skip to it right now. Well, guys, I've hit a snag. The way I thought about doing this would be really smooth, as I thought anyways. But uh, it isn't. Not so much. I didn't quite realise that the the ground, the starting ground for this platform, there'll be stone here for a platform. It'll it'll look like a train station outside and inside. Um, but this starts at 64. Y equals 64, and I have to get down to Y equals 26. So, yeah, that's a thing. So I think I'm just gonna mine down, and I'm, I'll make a ladder. I don't have stone on. Ugh. I got rid of my wood, and it's, uh, like, what I need. Right. I gotta be careful. <gasps> oh, 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 that skill. That was skill. Ooh, skeleton down there. Hello, Mr. Skellington. How are you doing today? Awesome infinity bow action. I have a, I have this bow now, by the way. I enchanted, I enchanted two bows. I enchanted one with power three, and I enchanted another one with, uh, this. For the same, for 30 levels, both of them. Right. So yeah, the way I, I saw this happening was, we'd build a platform here. So, if I just... It would, it would, it would have to be the same dimensions as the old platform. Sorry, the, uh, not the old platform, it was the platform above, but it would just be underground. Also, you're going to have the railway here, so I'd have to dig. Right. Just for, for argument's sake, say that this is the platform. Then the railway would be down here. I'm just going to dig all this up. Because the railway might, might well be down here. I'm, I'm not absolutely... Certain, I must admit. I will map it all out uh, after recording, but this is just this is just a rough estimate at the moment, basically. So the idea is, you'd have the platform here. You'd go to a you'd go to the thing. You'd press a button, and there'd be a hopper. Sorry, a dropper here, uh, or a a dispenser here, with a rail over the top of it. Actually, I'm not sure if that works. I'm pretty sure it does, actually. Basically, you'd press the button, and then a minecart would appear, and you could hop on it. And I'm thinking of using a detector rail to tell if a player's in it or not, and then if the player's in it, then the minecart will, um, will leave the station. So basically, it'll be on an endless loop until the, see, more gold over there, until the player's in it, and then it'll just leave. And here's the tunnel. I dug the about 500 block tunnel, and these are the tracks I got. I wanted five iron tracks, but I'm going to try with just these tracks at the moment. I'm thinking of using a chess card just to help me get around at the moment. There's lapis over there. There's creepers as well. And there's a skelly. I'm not going to get that one. I might get him, though. Let me dig in. I don't really care about wasting arrows because it's an infinity bow. Oh, I got him. Whee! Oh, I didn't kill him. I didn't kill either of them. Wow, okay. Right, so my plan for the, for the, uh, for the, the, ro ra the, the railway is pretty simple actually. I'm gonna leave it as it is with just plain stone or whatever's there. If it goes through like this with the ravine, I'm gonna put glass around it. 
and I'm going to surround the, gra the glass in lava. Also, on these sides bits of the track, once it leaves the station, there's going to be glass, and underneath the glass is going to be lava, and you can tell there's tons of lava. I'll make about ten buckets, so I can just car constantly carry lava with me, and then I can place lava down and cover it up with glass and move on sort of thing. So, that's pretty, it's pretty nifty. Alright, if you just excuse me for one more minute, and I will just go get the dimensions from up top, and then I'll be back with you. Hey guys, welcome back again. Sorry about that cut. So, I've got the dimensions of the station above. So, it's I got the room written down here. So, it's 14 by 9 at 154 by, uh, sorry, at 154, 117. So, what I did then, I went to F3, I went to here, 154, 117, and then it was 14 that way by 9 this way. And, uh, there we go, that's my thing. This isn't completely central. But, to be fair, this is an odd number anyways, you couldn't make this central if you tried using an odd number. But, uh, yeah. So, what I'm thinking of doing now, I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I'm kind of in, in two minds about it. Because, I'm not sure, can you? Hmm, we'll try now. Oh, it, it does work, okay. I was going to say, I, I don't, I'm not sure if a minecart works in a one by one area at the moment. It does. Okay. So we m we may start building the track immediately then, just for people to get to and from the stronghold. Not that they particularly need to at the moment, but they might do. That like people may want to do it. Kind of need all this gone. So my idea for the station is, as I said before, I'm going to have a a three wide drop at the end of the platform, so this is the platform here, so I need to mine into this three blocks, and then and then I need to drop it, I think we'll just do it by two for the moment, just to get it over and done with. So this this block here, which I just broke, it will probably be probably be en uh, end up being replaced with glowstone and I'll put carpet over the top of it for the for those who don't know I, I'm not sure if this is the same on American train systems or uh, subway systems but there's a, a line on the platform you're not meant to cross um, you're not really even meant to stand close to it uh, never mind crossing it sort of thing so I'll put like red carpet or yellow carpet to signify that line exists I want to get rid of this dude. I want it to be all stone. I just want it to look... I, I don't mind it looking cavey. I just don't want it to look completely... Like, I, I don't want to add detail and stuff to it, basically. Not out of the thing of, oh, I, just, I, I can't be bothered for the work. It's just a thing of, I, I just don't think it lo would look better without the detail. So I need to do this by two. I Actually, I will do this by three, but I just kind of want to show you where I'm going with the track a minute. All right. I forget how you make a detector rail. I think I think you've got to make it with the a pressure plate instead of redstone, haven't you? And I'm not sure if that works. We might try it now. We might jump into a creative world and try it. If it works the same way I'm thinking about it. I'll show you what I mean now. And you also need dispensers and stuff. There's a, there's a few things I need. Like I said, what I'm probably going to do is put a chest cart down here. Like I could just store stuff in um, for the railway. It would be that would be quite nice to have. Quite handy. And I could put stuff out of the way as well. I could I could put like a a chest cart with repairs, repair supplies in the station or something. So then I could use it to uh, get around. <gasps> Fudge. Um. Oh, I just had a heart attack. Oh my good god. Oh, please tell me I have an end pill. I don't. Oh, it's not. It's not too bad. I can pill it up. But oh my god, that gave me the biggest heart attack ever. I just, I just saw the screen like as I fell, and I was like, no, 
Oh, that could have ended so much so badly if I'd fallen into lava. I love how my uh, my reaction is if if something happens like that when I fall or whatever, I just stop working. Like I let I literally let go of my my uh, keyboard. It's probably not the best thing to do. To be fair, I'm just gonna do this for now. I think I was gonna be really fancy and do the three here and here only, but no, be too much for now. So, no, let's find where it is. Okay. I need to find the seventh one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. Okay, so I need, I need redstone blocks. I need a redstone block. I need power rail. I think that's all I need. So the redstone blocks are going to go here. I actually didn't need to destroy all of that backing up there, and then we'll do this. I don't think there's a direction to them, is there? No. I'm pretty sure there isn't a direction. I can't do this, though, can I? Well, I'll just use a redstone block for now. My idea was, I think you can... If I just put a button there a minute. I, I kind of need to break this, this redstone block a minute. Right. So if I do this, and I place one of these down. So the idea is there's going to be a dispenser under one of these with uh, mine carts in it. And you press this and it opens the dispenser and it launches the cart. So we'll just keep her as that for now and we'll put a cart down. Don't, just don't move for now. And then we'll just do the loop. I'm just going to light up some of these off cuts a minute so I can see what I'm doing. Did I not? I didn't mine this out. I thought I had. Oh well. This is going to be on the same level, I think. Yeah. But I will mine it out a bit more. So about there, for example. Yeah, I didn't mine this out. Hmm. What a noob. Thought I had. I really did. But you, you can kind of tell this project's going to take a very long time. The amount of glass I need is... Again, I need... Oh, more more gold. I'm just going to take the gold while, while it's here. And then I can fill it in. Nothing wrong with gold. Especially at the moment when I've used all of it for my uh, tracks. Luckily, I'm not using any of it for my... Uh, for the withered fight. For the, not the withered fight. The ender dragon fight. So, I'm not too concerned at the moment. So the idea is we have one like this and then one like this. I didn't mind this out either. Jesus, I was lazy when I mined this out. I thought I'd mined it out. Obviously not. Right, so if I I can make a lever, I had cobblestone just a minute ago. The cobblestone is still here. I don't think it is, is it? Ah, oh, blast. Kinda needed that, I must admit. Um, hmm. Can we just break the track? We might be able to just break the track. There, there we go. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. So the idea is that this track won't change until a detector rails put in for the minecart to move. So the idea is, if I get this over on the activation rails here, so the idea is, if I press this button now, yeah, it should it should move. I'm obviously going to put more golden rails in, and it should move all the way around um, until it basically leaves. Essentially, and I just realized I still can't I still can't do this the way I want it to be right. Oh, man. I I Just don't know. I just don't know. Just don't. Right, so about here. Oh this, this is so risky. This is just so 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 risky. So 
my plan is to put two power rails in. Right, so there'll be one here, I think. Oh god. And then one on the other side. Just basically, if it comes in, it'll ha hit a power rail then. And if it goes out, it'll hit, it'll, it'll hit a power rail. Right, and then there'll be one here, I believe. Yeah. So there'll be one here and one here. Gotta be so careful where I mine. Right. So the idea is then. I might not be able to do this. There we go. So you get into the minecart. And the minecart will just stay on this loop. And once it. Yeah, this is why I thought I figured I couldn't do this. I could put it on a timer probably. Or uh, look at a T flip flop, and as soon as the pa the the detectors hit, it would uh, turn it off. Uh, slowest ride ever, and then we hit this. And it's it's all fine again. It's not the fastest at the moment, but it's, ha it's nice how it stops there, and then you can just break it. That was risky. And I don't know if I just lost a track or not there. So we'll, we'll just forget that happened. So, yeah, there'll be a... Uh, I'm, I'm planning on people going left. So there'll probably be like a, a detector rail here or something. And then it will change whether or not this... It'll basically power uh, a, the block to change where this goes. And then it'll just go through here. And again, it'll hit... It'll have to hit another uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I know. I th I believe it's every eight. <clears throat> Pardon me. I believe it's every eight for a a minecart, but I'd rather one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this. I'm not sure if you can do this or not. I th I believe you can. Believe you can do that. Yeah, you can. Cool. And then the next one will be uh, power rail, and then so on and so forth. And obviously, I'll have to block up these caves so no creepers disturb me and uh, blow everything up. All my hard work, all my grace, gracious hard work. Just obliterated in an instant. Oh dear God, no! I should keep. Yeah, it keeps me out. I should keep the mobs out. That's fine. Just put, I'll just put an extra torch down here. Obviously, I can't stop the creepers and that spawning in the caves at the moment. Well, I probably could. But uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, and I think we're going to ride it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this track, this one, to go that way. Okay. And we're going to... What happened to my last one? Oh, I didn't pick it up. Okay. I was like, I had two minecarts. I, I'm not wasting that iron. Okay. And there we go. And then it goes oop, up, and through, through, and through. That's actually pretty quick. Like, it's faster than walking. And in all honesty, I've... Well, I won't be building this place to fit a horse, but I kind of am. Um, not purposely, though, I must admit. I also had thoughts about getting in and out of the station. And I was thinking of doing something just really simple and... Honestly, kind of easy to do, and uh, can kind of get rid of that now. And uh, that that was a uh, a piston elevator with this doesn't hit. No, okay. Does it over here? No, okay. And that is to have a piston elevator going up and a slime block drop for people to just jump down. So I'll still have the whole staircase thing above, 
But instead of the um, instead of the staircase coming down to here, the staircase will actually be going to a piston elevator or a um, slime block drop, depending on which one you're using. So from here, you could go into the elevator and take your way up, or you could drop down and then get into a minecart. So that's all cool and dandy. Right. I believe that's all I have to show you today, guys. I'm kind of sorry for this kind of brief and... I want to almost say abrupt episode. I'm really trying to uh, get into Twitchcraft in the moment, and it's uh, I'm finding it a bit difficult. So just give me, just give me a while. The the arena's kind of taking it out on me because I've wanted to make that arena for so long, and I just want it finished now. Um, like I said, I kind of messed it up, and it's not going as uh, to plan as I would like. And I'm just like, uh, I really don't want to build it anymore. It's just drowned so much time. Um, but that's why we're starting this project now, so I can just... This is just something I can... I don't even have to finish. I can just dig out the hole, place the tracks, and just leave it as it is in the moment, and then people can just take a minecart and drive it through. And uh, they should be fine, to be fair. Once, once I lay all the tracks, as I said, there's about 800 blocks to cover. The... the the stronghold is at something like, I believe it's like five, five, something like five twenty-five, three ninety-five, or something. And the like, that's four. That's nearly, that's three hundred plus blocks off the X and a hundred plus blocks off the Z value. So it's it's a long way. It's a very long way. I was thinking of building like a diagonal track, but I don't like the j j j juttering sort of thing. So I just decided to build an L shape. So this goes that way and then that way. And uh, yeah, it should it should be fine. To be fair, it'll be interesting when it goes through like caves and that, where there's no like it'll ju it'll be like a a three block bridge of stone. It'll be glass and uh, don't don't shoot me. Um. Yeah, it'll just be stone and glass, and you'll like drive through, and it'll be covered in lava. That'll be kind of awesome to see. But uh, yeah, guys. Until then, I've been Phoenix Cipher. I've been your host. I hope you enjoyed, and a good boy. Hey, guys. I guess this ending isn't so abrupt. I am uh, kind of sorry for this. Um, I did miss one other thing as well while uh, I was recording. The giant Team Magma flag in the Twitch... Not really a prank, but enjoy. It kind of is a prank. It's like a prank on the entire Twitchcraft server, because this is the Twitchcraft meeting room that I built. It was in the UN building. So, like, um... That's where Layla will stand, and then the glowstones where all of we, we will stand. So, Diacro kind of pranked himself in this. Huh. I'd do it. Can you do it? Uh, well then, Diacra. This has been here for a long time. And, I mean it, it it's, it's been here for a long time. And the reason I haven't taken it down is because I wanted to record me taking it down. I wanted to record it being here. And I haven't made a Twitchcraft episode since it was here. Um, I've been so caught up in trying my best and my hardest to finish the arena that... I, I'm kind of at the point where, at the moment, I'm, I want to start a new project just to take my mind off the arena, and I'll come back to it. I will. Um, but until then... This, uh, there's actually quite a lot of wool here. Um, I'll just leave it to despawn. I'm not too worried. There's tons of wool out there as well. It's probably where he got it from in the end. Got here, and there's Team Magma again over there, claiming their right to that 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 tiny. If you could see it, then that that see that tiny mound, like this tiny mound here. That's all the Acra's base, just that tiny mound, and the trees behind it, but just the tiny mound. The trees are actually on rented property. Mm. He he has to pay a certain person rent every time he plants a tree. Fun fact for you. 
Anyways, I've been Phoenix Cipher. This is the end of the video, and I wish you a goodbye, a good luck, and a good day. See you, and adios, amigos. Go.